In order to perform a test on your CompuTrack Max 4000 XL or Max 4000, you must first select the correct test program. From the main screen, press the program button. This will take you to the program list. Use the arrow keys to the right of the screen to select the test you wish to perform. Often the name of a test corresponds to the material you'll be testing. When you have selected the correct program, press enter. This will display the various settings of the program. Press escape to return to the main screen and you'll notice the idle temperature will begin to rise to the new idle temperature. The two test line on the screen confirms which program will be used for the next test. Wait for the idle temperature to rise to the desired set point. When the instrument is within two degrees of the programmed idle temperature, it will notify you. Press the start button and follow the on-screen instructions. Load the program sample size onto the pan. The screen will show a bar graph that is green in the middle and red on the sides. Any amount of sample that falls within the green area of the weight range graph is acceptable, but ideally you want to be near the center of the range to increase your test-to-test -test repeatability. The instrument can also provide an audible signal once your sample size falls within the green area. Once the instrument has registered the proper amount of your sample, and before you close the lid, you can spread the sample more evenly on the pan if necessary. You can do this by lifting the pan carefully off of the pan support and placing it on a flat surface, then gently shaking it back and forth. After you're done, gently place the pan back on the pan support and close the lid to allow the instrument to record the weight. After the weight is recorded, the test will automatically begin. Now that the lid is closed, you'll notice that the temperature that had dropped while the lid was open is beginning to rise. The screen will display the target temperature, current test program, test run time, the current sample weight, a real-time percent moisture value, and a percent rate of loss per minute. As the test continues to run, you can select the graph button to see a visual representation of how the percent moisture and percent rate of loss per minute have changed or are changing. Once the programmed ending criteria is met, the instrument will beep, signifying the end of the test. The internal cooling fan can turn on to help cool the instrument down for the next test. To get ready for your next test, open the lid and use the tweezers to remove the sample pan with the old sample. Both will be very hot, so be careful not to burn yourself. You can use a small brush to gently brush any excess sample that ended up on the instrument away from the center of the pan support. Do not brush towards the center where the pan support is installed. If the sample is brushed into the hole where the pan support is installed, it can negatively affect the balance. Dispose of the sample as prescribed by the material manufacturer. Now, simply place a new clean pan on the pan support and wait until the chamber temperature is at at least five degrees below the set idle temperature before closing the lid. When you close the lid, you'll notice that the real-time temperature is still too low to start the test. We need to wait until the instrument is within two degrees of the target temperature. Once the instrument is ready to begin the next test, simply follow the same process as before. For more CompuTrack tutorial videos, check out the playlist linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about your CompuTrack Max 4000 XL or Max 4000, contact Amatec Arizona Instrument or your local representative using the links in the description below. We look forward to serving all of your moisture, solids, and ash needs. If you like this video, let us know by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have a topic in mind for a future video? Send us your suggestion by visiting azic.com contact.